I'm going to start out with some gloomy stuff because, um, because you can only go up from there, right? So if you wake up tomorrow feeling horrible, just remember, it's only going to get better. And if you wake up feeling great, watch out. <laughs> just don't turn on the news. Um, many of you might, uh, some of you know me, some of you don't. Those that don't know me probably think, oh, it's American. Um, in America, there are these stretches of land out west that go on and on and on for um, many, many miles. And um, I was driving out there once and... Out on this road, I met this butterfly who had this fantastic wingspan that was nearly two feet wide. She'd recently been injured and she couldn't fly, so she asked me if she could bum a ride. the shell of her old chrysalis. She, she carried her things. She tossed it in the back and stretched those beautiful wings. She sat there next to me with her front legs on the dashboard. Those wings folded behind her and her little head cocked forward. She told me her story. A price was on her head. This bastard entomologist pursued her, live or dead. He vowed to hunt her down and to claim a large reward. He'd captured her and he'd drugged her and he'd nailed her to a board. Her escape was narrow. She'd torn through her own wing. She saw my look of horror and she started to sing. I'm going to a no man's land because men and violence are intertwined. I'm going to a no man's land Men and violence are intertwined. Well, I see, I said. But not all men are violent. I'm not a violent man myself. She laughed and said, Try not to get too attached to me. Because soon I will be well and I will fly away. One morning when I'd stepped out and we'd stopped into a diner for a meal, she laughed and laughed about the plastic flowers on the tables. She watched the birds and the tumbleweeds with fondness and with envy. I started seeing through her eyes the passing desert scenery. We came across some sad roadkill, a beautiful coyote. She sighed her butterfly sigh and once again sang softly. I'm going to a no man's land because men and violence are intertwined. I'm going to a no man's land because men and violence are Intertwine. One morning I came out of this Texaco station and I saw that she wasn't at the car anymore so I figured she had run. But then I heard her high squeal and I heard his low laughter. 
you'll never outrun me He said, you are the girl I'm after I chased down their voices to the side of the station She was cornered between a wall and a soda machine I moved as if by instinct I did it without thought I clipped him and I kicked him and I grabbed him around the throat I pinned him to the wall and his eyes were bulging wide I said if there's a next time I will see you crucified and with this I released him and he crumpled to the ground the butterfly was gone again when I turned around but then her little song drew our attention to the sky but with a certain lack of grace she had begun to That was the last I saw of her. She never waved goodbye. She just flapped off and disappeared while singing with a sigh. I'm going to a no man's land because men and violence are intertwined. Men and violence are intertwined. Thanks very much.